All right, YouTubers, welcome to another unboxing and video review. This is a quite a big box, much bigger than I actually expected. This is by First Four Figures. Looks like I got number 94. I'm not sure how many they make. Uh, with First Four Figures, the way they do edition size is they basically have pre-order open for like, I think, two weeks. Then they close it and call that the edition size. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, so I do like how they do that. It's funny, uh, on the QC pass test, they even have the person's name. Uh, so here's a little card, talks about registering, authenticating my statue. I don't really do that, I'm too lazy. So this is uh, Nightmare from Soul Calibur 2, the exclusive edition. The exclusive on this is basically a different type of base. The character himself looks the exact same. I'm not sure if the regular does have a light-up feature where this does. I really loved Soul Calibur 2 as a kid growing up. Me and my brothers used to play it all the time. My main character was... Uh, what's this bucket? Uh, what the heck? Oh, I'm having a brain fart. What's his name? Mitsurugi, the samurai. Yeah, Mitsurugi. Uh, I really enjoyed playing him. Uh, I played, God, it's been years since I've played this game. I played it so much as a kid though with my brothers. So I love the music, the backgrounds. A really freaking awesome game. This box is freaking huge by the way. They even put styrofoam inside. So I did get a day one edition. This is decently heavy. So with the day one edition, you basically get this sticker saying day one and uh, additional authenticity card signed by the one of the owners. I believe his name is either Alex or yeah, Alex or like Chuckles, something like that. Get my knife to open this up. This is a very big box. I wish it was smaller. It's hard to display all these big boxes. My garage where I display everything is running out of space. So the COA, yeah, here's the Nightmare Edition plus this. Uh, Offer Your Soul. Looks pretty cool. So I'll put that to the side, plus the sticker, which I just attached to the back of my COA. Looks like this has two parts to the box. Looks like it was very well secured. I know they do a lot of drop tests with first four figures. I've seen them do it. I definitely like how they uh, participate with the statue community. You know, they really try to, you know, if there's ever an issue with the statue, like when they're making it, like a color's wrong or a weapon is wrong type they'll fix it they listen to their customer base i think that's one of the reasons they're so successful you know where you have companies like sideshow you know you have a customer base complaining and they don't give a crap they're like you know what we don't care we're just gonna make this anyways you know so that's one nice thing i don't think any company will ever really replace sideshow you know, just because Sideshow is the master of licenses and whatnot. I do like first four figures. I'm very excited for this statue. I have a perfect spot for it in my gaming statue room. All right, so let's check this out. Quite a big base. I'm gonna set this on the ground so I can get the base out first. Right in. Not super heavy. Uh, as you can see, it says Nightmare Exclusive, number 94. It's actually a pretty low edition size, and this space has like this eyeball look. Pretty cool base, I like it. Pretty big. Not super heavy, I'm surprised it's not heavier. And 
here is the sword. The eye looks super cool. I think the overall look of Nightmare is really cool looking. I'm gonna set the sword down until I can set up the remainder of the statue. Uh, doesn't look like too many pieces to this. I believe this actually is part of Nightmare's like costume, so yeah, and I'm sure that goes in like it's like a tape sort of. Put that to the side and get out Nightmare now. Here he is. Looks pretty cool. <sighs> All right, got him in. Okay, so here's the battery. I haven't really seen this battery type like that. And this just goes right. The head is what has the light up feature. Here's the head. So let's put that on real quickly. All right, let's turn the light up to make sure it works. Yeah, it works. All right, so let's put on the rest of the costume. Like this is what covers that, I believe. Yep. That means you'll have to remove that anytime you want to do the light up feature. Next is the sword. Just does that. And then this piece, which goes. I actually think I need to put this on after the head. All right, got that on. Now the head is the final piece. There you have it, Nightmare. Set them up in the statue room and do a full video review. All right, everybody, here is Nightmare all set up in a Besta. Now, his base is so big that it actually sticks out of the Besta by a solid, like, two to three inches. So, eventually, I'm actually going to get a Stuva in here, and he should uh, display nicely in the Stuva. But for now... I'll display them like this. I'll get that Stuva. It'll be quite some time. But he still fits in a Bessa. Obviously, he just sticks out. So here he is. Not quite as tall as I thought he would be. You know, originally I thought he was uh, supposed to be 23 inches. He's only 22. Next to Master Chief, he looks honestly relatively small. But Master Chief is a very large PF, so you really can't compare him. Overall, he's a decent uh, sized PF if you compare him to other ones. But let's go ahead and look at this. Base looks awesome. 
definitely prefer this base over the regular black base. My one grip with this statue is I feel like the material used is cheap. The statue's not as heavy as it looks, and it feels very like thin polystone hollow statue. It's not heavy, doesn't feel solid, but it looks great, which is really all that matters. The only problem with having cheap material is it, you know, if you were to, it's more, more likely to get damaged. There you have it. Very cool character design by Soul Calibur. You know, he has that giant arm. See the red effect. His cape going around. Not sure why there's such a big seam right there. Not sure if that's intentional. See the... And overall, it's a very cool looking statue. Let me show you guys the light up feature, which honestly is like, who's, who's ever really going to use this outside of when you first get the statue? I mean, you can barely see the eyes as is. So it's not like you're going to be turning that light up on a lot. It's more of an excuse to have a light up feature is what it is. I mean, very gimmicky. You're not going to use that. Plus... You know, to turn it on, you have to take this off, which is always an annoyance to do when you want to get light up. But you know, it's behind a mask, so it's really hard to see the eyes anyways. You know, and then his arm holds the sword. The giant sword with the eyeball look, which, you know, is a replica of the base. That's how they did the base. Definitely brings back a lot of great memories. <sighs> You know, it's such a <sighs> classic game. Loved it. This is the only Soul Calibur statue I'm buying. I'm not going to buy any more. This is it. Pretty overall solid paint job, you know, in regards to the shading on the armor. You know, the battle damage you can see here. On the knees. Now, I wish it was uh, felt a little bit more premium, like, you know, when you grab it. But once it's up on the display, nobody's ever going to know what it's really made out of. It's how it looks that all that matters. And it looks awesome. I'm, I'll probably end up eventually displaying him down low right now at a mid-shelf, but I'll probably do it down low. See the base. You know, this felt like it shipped pretty quickly. Uh, first four figures definitely shipped this relatively quickly. I do feel like the link, uh, you know, the last statue you got was the link on red line. I feel like that's a little bit more premium material feel to it. You know, this is definitely a solid gaming statue. Looks awesome in the display. Really just want to get a Stuva, and I'll probably end up displaying him uh, underneath Master Chief. Because there'll be room there. And move Z Link down here. And then on the left shelf, I'll get... Rosie uh, by Gaming Heads from Big Daddy and Solid Snake and Psycho Mantis. Those are the last two statues I want from First Four Figures. Pretty much done with Zelda. You know, I may get Majora's Mask. I did pre-order it, but I'm starting to regret it, you know, space-wise. Not sure where I would ever put that. I just don't see a space. You know, I need one more Witcher statue. Really want to get Metal Gear Solid, Big Daddy, and... No, that's pretty much it. I would definitely get another Last of Us statue if it, was, if it was ever made, but I really doubt that. But, you know, this is a solid statue. Uh, whoever has this coming, you know, outside of the material, you know, it looks pretty awesome. Definitely a cool looking statue. The exclusive, in my opinion, is a must. Although, if you missed out, it's probably still worth it to pick up the regular. I mean, this costs like 500, I think 50 bucks shipped. It's a giant box. Uh, the overall thing, I think, weighs uh, like 29 or 35 pounds. Pretty heavy overall. Very cool looking statue. I'm happy to have it. And here is my COA. I'm going to be displaying the Day 1 edition. Day 1. And if I flip it over, I'll be able to see the other COA. 
Now, I'm definitely looking forward to the new Soul Calibur game that comes out. I'll definitely get that and displayed alongside this statue. That hasn't been a Soul Calibur in years. You know, I was big on 1 and 2, and I really didn't play 3 or 4. But 5 should be awesome. Can't wait to play it. So, in regards to my overall review, I would probably give this a 8.5 out of 10. Definitely awesome statue. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Do some more uh, close-ups. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be getting three statues next week. Thanos on Throne, Wonder Woman Premium Format Figure, Alien Egg. I know that they posted some production pictures of Wonder Woman. It was not the greatest. It definitely is not up to par to the production uh, prototype pictures. However, I really need that statue to complete my Trinity line. I'm not getting the custom. And I'll probably just end up getting the head repainted if I don't like it in person. But, you know, I think the costume and pose and base look amazing. So, you know, it's sort of like the Captain America Winter Soldier statue. The face sucked, but the pose and base was so cool that I still love that statue. So I'm hoping it's the same with Wonder Woman, that the pose and base will win me over to love the statue. Alright guys, I will see you next week. Have a great day.